So these are the 1 4th scale Azerlane Race Queen figures of Duke of York and Prince of Wales by Mimuyoi. So how do these stack up? Well, they're pretty fantastic. Okay, so let's first start off with the box. Both of the boxes are relatively similar in design since, well, they're relatively similar figures, right? They all come from the relatively same line of Race Queen skins from Azerlane which is what their outfits are actually based off of. These aren't what the default characters look like, if you're wondering. These are what they look like. These are just the skins imported from the game, made into real life figurines. So both of the boxes are very clean in design, right? They both got a two-tone look with colors that match the outfits for the characters. So Prince of Wales has a white and gold theme, while Duke of York has a red and black theme. The best addition for the boxes, I would probably say, is the black and white photos of the figures on the back of the box. It's probably my favorite part. They look great and also Duke of York's box is slightly bigger than Wales. There's not a whole lot of stuff you get. In fact, you basically get the same thing with each figure. You get the chair, which is painted very well, by the way. I do like the colors on this thing. And you also get the bases, which are very thick. There's a lot more thickness to be said about this figure, but the bases are pretty thick. I don't know if you would say acrylic, but they're pretty chalky. Unfortunately, I don't know when this happened, but I did crack Duke of York's base. Now she's got like a huge crack underneath or like a scratch or something. I don't know what, what happened. I, I'm so sad actually, oh my God. <laughs> the bases also have a slight difference with Duke of York's being way bigger than Prince of Wales. I guess that's because York's pose is way more spread out than Wales's. is. We got like a half square design cut off with matching color for the figures and you got some gold text and of course you do get the figures themselves and they're huge in multiple ways now obviously they're one fourth scale so of course they're gonna be a little bit bigger but whenever I get a one fourth figure I'm just like ah, oh, it's one fourth it's gonna be pretty big but then but I really don't like understand how big they are until I actually get them assembly wise each of the chairs do have two peg holes the match two pegs on the base so you plop them over and then you can put the figures on the chairs now prince of wales is very straightforward you plug the peg in and she fits on the base she fits on the chair very easily you can immediately know where the hand position goes for york you do have to angle her foot down just a little bit to make it you know match up because when you first initially try to put her on the chair and with the peg it doesn't really completely align up with the chair which i have noticed does make her a little bit more unstable compared to wales now the figures they're fantastic, at least in my opinion, right? The poses match up with the illustrations and the skins from in-game. Fantastic. Paint job is great. I especially like how clean the lipstick is on Wales. They did a fantastic job painting that. The Race Queen suits themselves do have a glossy finish on them, which is, I guess, par for the course when it comes to Race Queen figures. Like every single Race Queen figure I've had, it's usually just all glossy. And obviously the best thing about these figures is the sculpt, which Mimioi did a fantastic job capturing. They got the curves in all the right places. They got a lot of density and mass. <laughs> Overall, these are very fantastic figures and I'd highly recommend you picking them up if you possibly can. Which brings me to availability. Now, Duke of York is actually available up for pre-order, so if you want to go jump on her and this video has helped you with your decision to spend money, go ahead and jump on it. I'm pretty sure pre-orders are still open, but maybe by the time you watch this video, they're not open anymore, which case, I'm sorry. Now, Prince of Wales doesn't have a re-release, unfortunately, so you're gonna have to look for her in the aftermarket. But I heard that they're not too bad. You can find them about under 400 bucks or so, I think, at least from what people have told me. I'll throw some footage so you guys can actually see how the aftermarket is. I'm glad to have them in my collection. I regret not pre-ordering them still, but now that I have them, I won't be missing out on any more Mimioi figures, which we will talk about in a second here because they've got a lot more stuff coming our way. All right, now before we do start talking about Mimioi, I do want to thank today's sponsor, Bakuretsu. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Bakuretsu is a clothing brand that focuses on making minimal designed anime aesthetic clothing so you can wear them out in public without feeling like a huge major weeb. I like the shirt I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing their Arada shirt design. They also do have this in hoodie format, which I would be wearing because I'm more of a hoodie type of guy, but it's summer right now and I don't want to die because of blazing heat, so I'm wearing their t-shirt. 
shirt one. So go to the website, link is down below in the description. You can check out all of their shirt designs. Personal favorites of mine would be the Unicamp shirts and the hoodie, the Silent Voice one, and the Monogatari shirts, to name a few. Get a shirt or a hoodie, and you can also use my discount code KenKen at checkout for a small discount off your order. I'm looking forward to more Mimioi stuff. They are a relatively new manufacturer. They actually only have less than 50 figures they've manufactured, I think. And they got a lot of Azurlane stuff on the way. Zuikaku and Shokaku. And Zuikaku is actually finally painted now. I'll probably talk about this again in the video covering Wonder Festival that recently just happened. I'm very excited for the Bremerton figure. That's not really a one-fourth scale, but... And they also got Taiho's one-fourth, which I do have on pre-order. A little bit more expensive, but... Uh, I think that's gonna be super worth. Then we got Zuikok and Shokoku, like I said before. We got Taco and Atago, Enterprise and Prince. Am I forgetting anyone else? So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more Azrael figures, get subscribed because we're going to be doing a lot more videos on those in the future. If you excuse me, I have more figures to unbox. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.